As I start this video, I hope that this would be the last in the series of updates that I'm doing. Gamatron. What's up guys, this is Gamatron and welcome to WinMax update number 3. Today is July 25th and I thought it has been a few days since I last posted an update so I may as well talk about the information that we know so far and to bring those up to speed who haven't been following the GPD WinMax scene too closely. So the first thing I can tell you is that GPD's domestic shipments for their local customers, also known as JD backers, has already been completed. In fact, it's been a few days and we've heard and seen several backers posting pictures and comments of their units. The good news is, apart from the initial few reports that I covered on my channel, the reviews are mostly positive. It seems GPD was quick enough to act in response to the comments they received from JD customers. GPD made the right calls to ensure the reported cases were in investigated and the underlying issues were addressed ahead of the IgG shipments so that no further incidents occur. But this does not mean there haven't been any more cases. In fact, there have been reports of drift issues with the joysticks after using them for about a week or so. There were also reports of analog sticks not working in complete rotation as they are expected. GPD not only acknowledged the reported issues but also acted quickly in addressing these concerns and within a few days a firmware update was released to solve the joystick problems. In addition to these new reports, the previous cases of GPD's power brick malfunctioning have also been addressed. The GPD representative already confirmed that bricks coming with all IGG units will be from a different manufacturer altogether. This means that GPD did not take the cheap route of repairing the faulty units and instead decided to replace them with a totally different power brick. So now that the JD customers are happily enjoying their Maxes, what about IGG backers, including myself? Well, as of the recording of this video, there is a strong chance that GPD may start shipping to all IGG backers in the coming week, although there isn't any official confirmation to the statement from GPD. One thing, however, has been stated over a number of times is that GPD will be shipping orders to international backers based on their order number and their region. So what if you didn't purchase the GPD Win Max during the IGG campaign or the later in-demand campaign? This means that you fall under the retail category and you may have ordered your unit from online retailers such as AliExpress or Amazon. In this case, you would have to wait even further until all the orders from IGG and in-demand customers are completed. During the past few days, there were some cases of resellers breaking the launch dates and shipping out to their customers ahead of everyone else. GPD once again acted on such reports and warned the resellers not to supply any further or else they'll lose their chance of any future business with the company. So that's all the information that I have for you guys so far. I know every IGG backer including myself is desperately waiting for their chance to receive their win maxes sooner than later. I guess we only have to wait for a few more days to find out where we stand. As always, I promise to keep you guys and girls posted about how things develop and hopefully in the next video I will be showing you my shipping confirmation from DHL. I would like to thank everyone for supporting the channel, liking the videos and leaving your feedback. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and stay tuned for more content coming for the GPD Win Max. Make sure to press the bell icon so that you don't miss out any of my future videos. Thank you for watching guys. This is Gamertron signing off.